Welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker News, you can trust. I think we're going to have like um, maybe a new award around here. Like uh, the Black Dragon Biker TV, This MC Ain't a Punk. And I think it's going to be an award for motorcycle clubs that display that they ain't no punk. And I think that can be easily said about the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club. Because, um, you know, they have proven they ain't no punk. Especially last Thursday when they were attacked by some cat. And, man, the way that this went down is just so crazy. So in uh, Vansville, Indiana, an Evansville man accused of driving his pickup truck into a Northside Motorcycle Club earlier this week and trying to set fire to that club has been arrested. So uh, <laughs> we've seen this before. I think it was 1991 in Texas. A guy drove his pickup truck into a building, stepped out, and killed 23 people. You know, we, we've seen people shoot up nightclubs. We've seen this kind of thing. But this guy, Mr. Kale E. Winternheimer, 47 years old, decided he would take on a motorcycle club. And he was booked into the Vandenberg County Jail on Thursday afternoon. That was the uh, 24th, I believe. He faces preliminary charges of arson, criminal mischief, and criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon. A probable cause affidavit filed after his arrest reveals more details about the attack reported Wednesday night at the Grim Reapers Motorcycle Club on Diamond Avenue. Uh, the motorcycle club fought off the shooter with pool cue. Uh, How do you say that? Pool cues. There you go. F uh, the motorcycle club fought off the shooter with pool cues. Say that ten times. Police say. So he rams in there and they whoop. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, let's see. Kale E. Winternheimer reportedly tried to get into the club Wednesday night, but was denied access. Evansville police say surveillance footage shows Winternheimer carrying a five-gallon gas can to the front door of the club before he tries to get in. Before he tries to get in. Like, maybe he knew that he was going to have trouble trying to get in. So even before he tried to get in, he carried a five-gallon gas can uh, to the front door of the club. After he was turned away, Winterheimer, Winternheimer reportedly set something afire and then rammed his pickup truck into the front of the club while holding uh, the item that was ignited. The video reportedly shows him dropping the item on fire next to the gas can and then running away. Two club members came out of the building, he's probably starting in arms, and fired three shots total at him, seconds after the truck crashed into the building. So they, they wasn't whistling Dixie around there. You come crashing into the building, they came, <laughs> uh, uh, trying to light things on fire, and the initial reports also said he was shooting in the building. Um, so I don't, I don't believe that, we don't know if that's true or not, but the initial reports had him shooting in the building, trying to crash into the building, trying to light the building on fire. But uh, they wasn't having that around there. That's not what they was having that night. That night, they wasn't having that. So two club members came out of the building and fired three shots total at him seconds after the truck crashed into the building. Like, you crash into the building and we come out shooting. According to Evansville police, Winternheimer was uh, not hit by the gunfire. He then undressed, took his clothes off, and ran into the road on Diamond Avenue, police said. Eventually, he got dressed again and started walking back to the club where members held him at gunpoint until the police arrived. Evansville police said he was punched, kicked, and hit with at least one pool cue before officers got to the club. Uh, so you come there to be a terrorist and wind up getting your ass kicked. Uh, he suffered head and face injuries. He, he wasn't looking too good. Uh, Winternheimer was taken to a local hospital to treat his injuries where police said 
uh, which police said were not life-threatening. He chose not to talk to investigators except to say a car stopped on Diamond Avenue to pick up his gun after he threw it in the road. So he did have a gun. So you show up with a gun, uh, some fire equipment, and uh, some stuff to get busy with and, and put down some kind of a terrorist gig and got your ass kicked by them Grim Reapers that wasn't no punks. You you picked the wrong, wrong MC to mess with that night. That's when keeping it real goes bad right then. That's when that's when the whole keeping it real thing takes a, a, a terrible turn for the worst. Evansville police say while witnesses told them Winterheimer had a gun and Winterheimer allegedly told them uh, he threw it in the road, investigators did not find it and did not see him carrying a gun in the surveillance video. The building sustained heavy damage, which is probably another reason they beat the shit out of him. Winterheimer, uh, Winterheimer is scheduled to appear in court for a probable cause hearing Friday afternoon. He has not been formally charged in the case as of uh, the time of, of that this was printed. And, you know, we looked a little bit. Winterheimer, had, uh, Winterheimer has um, had a little trouble here. This has kind of been a, like an a evolving thing. It looks like all the way back from January. He's just been running into one darn thing after another. So we can go back to January 21st, 2019. Seems like he was the victim of domestic abuse, uh, the city counter observer said, as reported by Officer Samet. Uh, he looks like uh, he called the police when uh, his uh, ex-girlfriend or, or whatever she might have been uh, came to move her stuff out of the house. He said she beat up on him and scratched him. They came and investigated, and uh, she said... Uh, that he became upset when she came to get her items and figured that, uh, found out that she wasn't going to stay with him overnight. Hey, we've all been there. Uh, and then um, it looks like, so that was, that was January. And then in February, uh, the 2nd, 2019, just uh, like, you know, a few days later, it looks like he was booked uh, mugshots.com have him has him as being booked for uh, criminal mischief to a vehicle, and uh, so that that was just a few days later, on February second, twenty nineteen, and then on March twenty sixth, just uh, about a month later, twenty nineteen, Kale E. Winternheimer was uh, found uh, charged with. Uh, oh my goodness! Look at all this. Operating a vehicle while intoxicated, that's a level six felony. Resisting law enforcement, uh, you know, keeping it real again, level six felony. Reckless driving, class C misdemeanor. Reckless driving, class C misdemeanor. Disregarding an official traffic control device. That's how we say that down here, device, which is another class C infraction. So he got two level six felonies, a reckless driving, class C misdemeanor, a reckless driving, class C misdemeanor and a disregarding official traffic control device, device, a C, level C infraction. And so all of that built up to, unfortunately, um, all of the charges that he got from that incident. So, like, this guy is facing a hell of a lot of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back charges. We, uh, we hope that his cry for help... Uh, Gets him the help he needs. Obviously, trying the whole terrorist thing on the Grim Reapers over there uh, was the wrong move to make. So, uh, the first Ain't No Punk Award will go to them. Can you imagine that? Somebody crashing through your building? Um, like, like, who does that? You know? Um, yeah, can I get in? Uh, no, you can't get in. I got to tell you, those guys are tough because... Yeah, I, I've uh, I've got four bullet holes in me. That it, I, I'm not doing it no more. If you crash through my motorcycle club, I'm probably going to turn and run out the back door. But uh, the because they hurt them 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 gunshots, they hurt, man. So uh, these cats, um, they they wasn't playing that over there uh, at at their clubhouse. They pull cued that cat. Nope, it, the firebomb didn't scare them. 
Uh, he had a gun. That didn't scare him. They came out a shooting and a swinging. A shooting and a swinging. And uh, that's what you get. You get a shooting and a swinging. I'm glad nobody got hurt over there. Um, you know, a little bit lighthearted, but I'm glad nobody got hurt. No one wants to see the destruction of their clubhouse. That's that's where you hang out. That's that's home away from home. That's where your family is. That's where your brothers are. And, uh, you know, who has insurance for that? Like, that's not the insurance you take out. You don't take out the, in case somebody drives through my clubhouse insurance. Uh, but uh, hopefully they did take that out and um, they can get that fixed up over there and, and get on back to regular business. While this uh, deeply disturbed uh, fellow here um, gets the help he needs and glad he didn't get killed over there and um, everything maybe will turn out for the for the good for him. So anyway, um, that's uh, that little news thing there. I saw that coming across the wire. A couple of other websites have covered this already, but I thought that it was just really interesting that a terrorist was stopped in his tracks. Uh, and uh, good one on you guys over there uh, at the Grim Reapers MC. Uh, you guys probably uh, stopped something very bad from happening. It could have been terrible. All right. That's my two cents. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and remind you all to do what you can to get physically fit and uh, get yourselves together. So you can live a good long life free of bullet holes and bullet wounds. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny.